Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you a full game recap. Once again, going to be rolling with um, the uh, multiple, the actual alternative uh, offense, which is going to be run heavy. I'll be using Atlanta as my uh, team and also the multiple D defense on defense. So uh, I'm going to sh share with you guys that this is not the greatest gameplay out there, but I just wanted to kind of, um, once again, show some gameplay. Um, against someone using one of the best teams in Madden 19, which is going to be the Kansas City Chief. Um, and it is a scheme over team. Um, it definitely makes a big difference uh, when you're playing against somebody. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and able to hit the levels crosser and able to get the ball down to the 19-yard line. And once again, the base play, uh, I'm going to need to come out of a, a running play, which is either going to be a stretch play or some, or that pitch play. And right here on three plays, I'm able to go ahead and put the ball in the end zone and go up by a touch and against my opponent. So feeling pretty good about this, this situation right against this, against my opponent. Coming to cover three, uh, just I like to do it as a base defense to see what my opponent likes to run. He stretches the ball out, uh, gets a nice little gain right there, five yards, uh, comes out into the the next play which is a trips formation actually he was in um, a trio formation too does a little bubble screen but doesn't get the blocking he needs right there and I'm able to go ahead and tackle him in a third and six then I go and queue up the blitz against him and I'm just playing over the middle and right there he throws right to me as I'm coming across the middle of the field and get another interception man uh, 52 defense has really helped me a lot uh, online it just it's a very difficult defense to stop so right here going back to the pitch play again so I'm able to go and, uh, and cut it around uh, nobody's actually pursuing this guy did not have run defense like the previous game I had I'm able to go ahead and pick up a first down right there so he slid a guy down in the box. I put another guy down in the box. Right here, I stricked up Riley and actually tried to throw it, but he actually baited me. Really good play right there. He bought that guy down in the box, and I thought I'd be able to go and get past it, but he baited me and got an interception. So back to the cover three once again. Just want to see what he likes to run. Uh, I'm actually dropping my defense, uh, defensive ends into zones. And I just want to go ahead and play the middle of the field against him uh, as he's making his adjustments to go and run the ball. He's got a couple crossing routes right there. He actually throws into the seam, and look at this animation I get right there. Uh, the, he uh, he doesn't get the he doesn't get the reception, and I'm able to go ahead and get a second and ten situation. So, cue up a blitz right here. He throws it once again back to the middle to the hot read. I'm able to go and just pick him off with Deion Jones. Uh, that linebacker is really good on Atlanta. Very fast, very athletic, and is a very good ma playmaker. So right here actually bottles me up. Uh, I pick up, I think, a yard or two on that particular play. Actually, nothing. And I come right back to the spot route again, uh, hoping that he's going to try to chase after Ridley going over the middle. Uh, I do a block and release with the running back, and he actually does pull himself out of position. I just met, hit the sp spot route. Got a, got a little um, penalty right there, 15-yard face mask. It puts me down on the one, and I jump into uh, just the pitch play out of the single back uh, bunch set and I just go ahead and easily get the ball in. So up 14 to nothing. This guy's struggling in offense. I'm actually scoring fairly easy with uh, this uh, run heavy alternative playbook. So back to the cover two play right here. I put people down in the box. He does not get a good angle and the pursuit by the Atlanta Falcons defense is very, very good. So I can see why Atlanta Falcons is one of the more popular teams online because the defense is extremely underrated, extremely fast, uh, and the offense obviously has some studs, uh, and he also also has a lot of really good, uh, it has a good quarterback and a fairly good defensive line, or offensive line. So now he's actually in some trouble. You always know you, you're in, a, in, a, in an advantage against your opponent. So when they start no-huddling you, uh, that means they're, they're frustrated in their gameplay, especially if they didn't use a no-huddle from the very beginning. Uh, Hill's on the left-hand side, so I actually dropped him onto my defender's back into a deep third because I wanted to go ahead and make sure that he couldn't hit me with a long pass. I'll worry about the crossers because at least I'm manning up. So back to a uh, trip set right here. Get a good tackle right there. He didn't spin. He didn't have his timing down with a spin. No huddles again. Third and uh, third and seven situation. I haven't showed him a man blitz at all. I got I got to be conscious of Hill uh, right here. So I'm, I'm going to try to get myself in the box, but I didn't want to commit to the guard because I needed to get over to Hill right away because obviously if he just if he blocks enough people, I'm going to be in some serious crap uh, if Hill gets off. So I go chasing after Hill, but I actually the man pressure comes in, messes up his reads. He actually he could have thrown that ball if he just if if he didn't get sacked like that, and it could have been a big play for him. So, fourth and 15 situation, he no huddles. 
obviously he's frustrated right here. I just go out and all, all out zones right here. I got my guys up, and he sails the ball. Just a bad pass by a very accurate quarterback in the game, and I get the ball back. So 14 to nothing right now, and now I go ahead and jump into um, the slot option play and he actually was bringing the house. So he was almost duplicating a lot of things I was doing. It's like he was almost running the same exact book where he's running the jet, uh, the, uh, the Jets book. Uh, so uh, basically I go ahead and, and, and do a nice little spin move, come off the blockers right there, and or come off the uh, the tackles right there and get a, an, another touchdown. So up 21 to nothing, you know, it's 21 skunk type situation if you're playing – um, you know, against people or, or you know, subscribers and stuff like that. But feeling pretty good about this this gameplay right here. He actually checks it down. I didn't want to give up a big play. You've got to be very conscious of the big play uh, when you're playing against Kansas City Chiefs because Tyreek Hill is just a burner. He's going to get you. So once again, uh, go ahead, base line, show blitz, uh, set up the blitz. Go in the gap. I want to go ahead and get the pressure. I got. To, I have to manually take care of uh, the uh, Kelsey. And right here, I get a nice little A-gap pressure. He doesn't make his read quick enough uh, with Campbell. I'm able to go ahead and get another sack. So 39 situation. Go ahead, switch it up into the man blitz. Uh, this is a, just a better situation because obviously you got Hill over the top. I got to worry. I got to worry about the the running back in the flat. But I, he's not going to have any time if he doesn't run. And once again, he throws it right back to me again, and I get a, I, I get a uh, interception. So he's in some serious trouble, and I think that's basically about it. 21 to nothing uh, in the second quarter, and he rage quits out, and that gives me another victory. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for support. Uh, to my Patreon members, thank you once again for support. I'll be rolling out some more gameplay as we approach Madden 20 and give you some tips and strategies to be a little bit more effective in the game. So thank you for support, and until next time.